What is up YouTube, it's Etech here, and I, and I asked you guys on Google Plus, which video you guys would like to see first? HTC One M, One M10, what you need to expect, a Snapdragon 8890 versus Exynos 8890 video. So, you guys voted, and you guys asked for the Snapdragon versus Exynos video, and here it is. Okay, so both processors are going to be really powerful processors, but there's not much we could say about either of them as of now because no phones have them. But there's some little rumors and speculations and benchmark tests that have been done on both of these already. So we're going to go ahead and take a look into those. Okay, so the main reason I'm doing this video is because the Galaxy S7 is around the corner. And we've seen rumors saying that the Snapdragon S7 may have the Exynos 8890 or the Snapdragon 820. And if you have the, and people who've had the S6 and have that Exynos experience life, we want the Exynos 8890 in our Snap, uh, Galaxy S7. So I'm going to go ahead and break down these two processors right about now. Okay, so the Snapdragon 820 processor is a quad-core processor and has a max clock speed of 3 GHz, which is pretty fast, but remember clock speed does not determine the processor's overall speed. Okay, so when the Snapdragon 820 was benchmarked, it had a single core score of 1732. Now you can compare this to the previous Exynos chip just to give you some insight. Uh, with the Exynos 7420 having a single core score of 1,480. And, you, and if you want to get even more extreme, you can compare it to the iPhone 6S Apple A9 chip, and it had a single core score of 2,506. So yes, the A9 chip is still beating the Exynos 7420 and the Snapdragon 820. So we can go ahead and take a look into the Exynos 8890 or the M1 Mongoose, which is a cooler name. Now the Exynos 8890 is an octa-core processor which has 8 cores, that's what octa means, and when it was, and its max clock speed is 2.4 GHz, which is slightly slower than the Snapdragon 820's, but remember when I get into these benchmarks, you're not going to care. Okay, so the single core score of this Exynos 8890 was 2,294, which knocks out the Snapdragon 820 and knocks out the Exynos 7420 and almost passes up the Apple A9 chip. So this single core score is going to bring good day-to-day -day performance of um, what I'm told. So you can expect iPhone 6S type performance with this processor. Now of course this is going to be an Android phone. So we all love the multi-core score. So I'm going to go ahead and get into those two processors. Multi-core score right about now. Now the Exynos 8890 had a multi-core score of 6,000. 908. Now if you want to compare this to the previous Exynos chip, the 7420, the Exynos 7420 had a multi-core score of 4,936, so that is a huge gap, almost 2,000 more points gap. So yes, that would provide a lot more multi-core performance, which should help with multitasking that Samsung is getting into more and more. Okay, so the Snapdragon 820 barely beats the Exynos 7420 with a multi-core score of 4,920. Um, I think that although, I think the Exynos 7420 was an octa-core processor and the Snapdragon 820 is a quad-core processor, I still think Qualcomm could have done a lot better because they do have to fix their name because the Snapdragon 810 kind of messed them up. Now that's it for this Snapdragon 820 video versus Exynos 88, wait, is it? D three, three Snapdragon 820s? Is th an octa-core version? A, a more powerful, what? That, that? Am I going to talk about it? Yeah. Okay, so there's going to be, there was rumored to be three versions of the Snapdragon 820. The generic one that I just talked about, a Snapdragon 820 version 3 that I'm about to get in right now, and an octa-core Snapdragon 820, which would be more fairly compared to the Exynos M1 Mongoose, but when those rumors come, expect a video from me. Okay, so the Snapdragon 820 version 3 had a single core score of 2032, which is slightly lower than their generic version of the Snapdragon 820, so... The single core performance, uh, I don't think it's going to bring, well this version, I don't think it's going to bring better day to day performance, but the multi-core the multi -core score is just crazy. Okay, so the multi-core score of this version of the Snapdragon is 5,910. So although this doesn't beat the Exynos 8890, I still wouldn't mind this version of the Snapdragon processor and, my, and the S7, which I may or may not be getting because, you know, money. So yes, the Exynos 8890 was bullying the Snapdragon 820, but the Snapdragon 820 version 3 and the Snapdragon 820 octa-core version may or may not push the Exynos chip out of the water and fix Qualcomm's name. 
Anyways, that's it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like. And if you like me, hit that subscribe button so you can see my face a lot more. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.